pleasure to speak to you, Beth. I thought the film was really great. Jordan, this is one of your biggest roles yet, especially for a film. Yeah. Uh, we see Toma go through a lot of growth here, and he's a lot more than just the engineering geek uh, he's introduced as. So uh, how rewarding was it to be playing such a large role and uh, have so much to work with? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was it was great. I whenever I went into it, um, I'll be I'll be honest, you know, I was I was very, very excited because as you stated, you know, it was like it's one of my biggest things that I've done. Um, so it was I was honored, um, you know, to be a part of it, uh, working with Caitlin, um, you know, having someone like Ian, you know, in the cast, like it, it was it was phenomenal. Um, I, I when we were recording, um, I, I wouldn't always get um, like uh, the other actors in there. But whenever I would, I would just be like, oh man, everyone just sounds so good. Um, so it was it was very, very rewarding. And um, it was really cool to be able to see just Toma's growth uh, throughout the film. Um, and I, I absolutely loved it, man. <laughs> awesome. And Ian, your character's uh, interesting because he's presented as this guy that kind of has it all going for him, but he kind of has some like self uh confidence issues he views himself as a 80 percenter how do you how do you speak to his sort of uh insecurity and what made him so interesting to play for you um i think everybody that you ever talk to is insecure about something and and the most the coolest people i have ever met who are just like that's 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 so and so usually it's celebrities and everything they're some of the most insecure people i've ever met um, I, I understand why he's so insecure. I, I, I think the feeling of wanting to have something that you love and that you really, that makes you happy and that, that like, he's, I mean, he's jealous that there are people like Toma that, that like know what they want and know what they're about. And I think, I mean, I'm personally jealous of anybody that really knows themselves and knows what they're about and really loves it. Cause I'm, you know, I'm getting gray and I'm still trying to figure that out myself. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, you know, Jordan, there's a theme of happiness throughout and trying to find it and what it means to be happy. And there's also this just importance of kind of like checking in on people. What theme really resonated to you the most in this film? Yeah, for me, I, I think it was just um, finding that happiness. Like it was it was really interesting because, um, you know, this film was very realistic. You know, there was a lot of uh, characters and, and, and their personalities that I think will resonate with, you know, the audience. Um, a lot of the audience might say, hey, you know, I kind of see myself in this character. And it was just them kind of coming together, you know, under the circumstances that they, you know, come together and kind of just, working together and figuring things out um and just kind of supporting one another so i i really appreciated that and and i really love just the fact that that the film is just so down to earth and and just showcases very realistic um you know just archetypes and and very realistic characteristics about people Ian, you have a, a key role in One Piece and you've been in so many long running shows. So how does it compare when you do a film like this, when you're inhabiting, ha inhabiting this one character and going through a lot with them in a small amount of time compared to doing a longer series where the character development, you know, is kind of far and few between? Uh, that's a great question. It, it was a much faster character arc to go through. Um, it was special for me because of, <clears throat> in <clears throat> in those shows you mentioned and others, I usually play very big characters uh, who are very bombastic and loud and, and have a lot of vocal tics. And I, getting to work with Caitlin, she's put me on a few shows where she has really found a very kind, very soft part of my voice that I, I love and I love connecting to because I'm able to get to some core truths and vulnerabilities within me and and when I can get to those raw moments within myself, I'm able to bring a lot of uh, truth, uh, and and I'm very proud of that when I get to do it. So, being able to do something that was very uh, a simple, uh, small, grounded performance that I was able to have such growth in in such small amount of time was was a, a real treat. And then Jordan, I wanted to get your thoughts on the uh, AI heavy future the film presents because. 
yeah. we see like the beauty of it with Shion, mm-hmm. and then there's also like it's almost dystopian we have this mega corporation the robots yeah. and the rice fields yeah. uh, what do you think is that where we're headed what do you think about this <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'd be surprised because uh, I almost feel like we're kind of getting there now, you know, just with like the AI technology that a lot of us rely on, you know, like asking for the weather or, you know, turning a light on or, you know, just finding out, you know, how cold it's going to be outside. Like, you know, we we're starting to rely pretty heavily. Like I, I, I I'm not sure if we're maybe there <laughs> yet but uh i i wouldn't be surprised like you know if, if technology continues to you know evolve and advance and you know we're we we were able to be a part of it <laughs> i bet you right now there is an ai picking rice somewhere i bet that, <laughs> no but for real like agricultural yeah. like technology probably yeah. is to the point right now where it is doing that is it humanoid does it look like somebody with I actually did some research oh. and I found one that it was kind of looking like a Roomba that was doing See, it. That's so what I was thinking. There we go. Ah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so Ian, um, I always love hearing about like any particular moments that stuck out during recording. Was there any scene that was particularly fun or anything that really resonated with you? Um, I, my scenes with Alexis Tipton uh, were a, a joy to really try to find the truth of, of relationships, especially at a time in your life when everything means so much and like you start to read into things incorrectly because you don't have all that experience. She brought, uh, she was such a good scene partner that it was, it was just super easy. I'd say the singing was also a lot of fun, but that's because I was told pretty quickly that I didn't have to be a great singer. And uh, I'm not going to name the other shows, but in some other shows, I have to play people who are good at singing. And that, that's always very nerve wracking. And you, and, you get, and you get nervous that am I hitting the right key and everything. But when you're told, oh, this guy, this guy's just a normal person. He, he doesn't have to sing well. You're like, oh, the, the, the relief washes over you. And then you're just able to have fun with it. And that kind of kind of plays through. Great. And Jordan, I wanted to ask you about singing uh, because Toma joins in once in a while. How how was that to record? (laughs) It was uh, it was an experience. That's for sure. Um, I I can't say too, too much about it. Um, Obviously, you know, no, no spoilers or anything, but uh, it it was it was very interesting. Um, And many, many laughs were shared. (laughs) Awesome. And then uh, Ian, my last question here, I thought there was something really wonderful about seeing all these different students come together for a common goal and the film gets pretty emotional at you know certain points so what what does it mean for you to be involved with art that really does have an important message at its core you know i i i think about that with this film a lot i think about how this film really focuses on the theme of finding what is happiness to you happiness is something different for everybody and so it's important that you figure out what makes you happy and then when you do you go for it and you grab onto it and and if this film just inspires a few people to really kind of sit down and figure out what makes them happy and then go for it then we really put some good into the world and that's that's just the best feeling and uh, Jordan, I'd also love to get your thoughts on that and what you hope people take away from uh, Sing a Bit of Harmony. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, like I said, I, I think the film's very, you know, realistic. I, I think a lot of people, you know, will kind of see themselves like in these characters and kind of just like how Ian said, you know, uh, it explores, you know, the the theme of happiness and how happiness is, you know, different for other people. But, you know, it's like it's still an emotion that that we all feel, you know, Um so I, I really do hope that people can watch this, you know, and kind of take away from it. And, you know, maybe they're able to say like, you know, maybe they're able to be inspired by this film or they're able to say, hey, you know, like watching this movie really helped me through a dark time. Cause you know, let's be honest, you know, the last two years haven't necessarily been, you know, the best. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I really hope people are able to just take away from this film and, and, you know, they're able to leave the theaters with a smile on their face. Amazing. Thank you both for your time today. The film turned out great. I got great. emotional during it. Thank I, you. Thank I you. Shed too. some tears. So, uh, <laughs> Me thank too. Thank you guys. <laughs>